Because of the recognition of the cross resistance, I think clinicians make a judgment to use one or the other as their initial therapy for castration resistant metastatic prostate cancer. Um, I think that the, the, the clinician chooses one of these agents based on what they think uh, the patient profile fits. Uh, obviously, abiraterone requires low dose prednisone, and some patients, uh, because of diabetes or other issues, maybe uh, steroids are a little contraindicated, enzalutamide might be utilized. A patient who may have some minor neurologic issues, you may sort of worry about enzalutamide because of its potential CNS toxicities. So I think there are uses of both drugs. What's not routinely happening now because of the recognition of cross resistance is if you get one, you don't immediately cross over to get the other because there is clearly a lower likelihood of response. So I think uh, clinicians have gotten comfortable with both drugs. Um, and make decisions based on sort of what they think is the most appropriate drug to use as initial treatment, recognizing that it's not necessarily going to cross immediately over to the other compound.